after one year, police arrest suspected killers of Ahmed Gulak. We all remember he came to Imo State on political assignment a year ago and he was murdered. And the security agents have come out to say is the people that did this act have been arrested. Well, a good one for the Nigerian police. If this is the way they want to operate going forward, I think it will be better. But another angle to it because maybe some people will start saying it is because the prominent politician and that was why they worked to was getting those behind it. There are so many no unknown names that have passed through this same route and they are nowhere. The killers of those people are nowhere to be found. But let's see how they got these people. Police authorities in Nemo State said they have arrested one of the suspected killers of the chieftain of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Ahmed Gulak, the former political advisor to ex President Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, who was reportedly killed on Saturday, 29 May 2021, while returning to Abuja from Mogori, Nemo State capital, on political assignment. He was reportedly trailed from his hotel room to the spot where he was killed around Umuizi, Obiangu, and Ungo, Okpala local government area, close to the Sam Mbakwe airport route in Uweri. Mr. Mike Abatam, the public relations officer of Imo State Police Command, disclosed this while briefing reporters on Monday in Uweri, the state capital, parading the suspects alongside others. Abatam said, Chimobi has been under the watch of the command since the killing of Gulag last year. He stated that the suspect escaped during a gun battle between police personnel and his gang members at Abo MBC shortly after the murder of the APC chieftain, where five of the suspects were killed. Chimobi, who also spoke with reporters, claimed to be a commercial bus driver and not a member of a criminal gang. He said Amir Gula killers approached him to convey them in his vehicle and he attempted to resist, but Ligta gave in after they threatened to kill him. The suspect admitted that he drove the criminals to the spot and blocked Gulak's vehicle, which was on its way to the airport. According to him, they shot the APC chieftain after he resisted the demand by the government that he should come down from the vehicle. Chimobi explained that his assailants later ran into a team of security operatives who shot repeatedly at the other vehicle, conveying them until it somersaulted and caught fire. The command spokesman said that the police have also arrested other suspected criminals who have been terrorizing communities in Imo. He explained that among those paraded were members of the gang who burnt the home of the President General of Oanese Indigo, Professor George Obiazo. Some of the items recovered from the suspect paraded by the police include guns of different caliber, assorted charms, a live snake, among others. Well, kudos to the Nigerian police. If this is the way they are apprehending all these criminals, Maybe by now our country will have a little peace. This assignment, this job for me is a good one. There are more to it. These guys need to be questioned properly so that more information can be gotten from them. Was it a mistaken identity or was it deliberate to get the man out of the way? Was it a sign assignment where they sent or they just mistakenly got him and he was eliminated? The, the details of this arrest these criminal guns, others need to be fished up. And if Gulak and those that burned the house of Professor Obiazo, for what purpose? What was the reason for burning his house? Was it burned because he didn't support their criminal activities? Or was it burned because they were looking for something out of the place? If not, where will you go, the leader of the whole or Hanese Indigo? Where would they go and burn this? Because from what the narrated that they just mentioned, that they were a part of the gang that went there and they arrested them. These people need to be taught, the fact, to be made to confess all that they know about all the criminals' activities, all the killings that have been going on, especially in Imo State. 
because that town now, that city now, has turned to a city with tension everywhere. Killing, burning police station, killing people, innocent people, and they are just going to be, that is when we came with the word, unknown government. This need to be stopped, and like I said, kudos to the police for getting them arrested. And what is your take on this? Is the police doing the good job? If they are not, if you have any advice for them, kindly make it known as you subscribe to my page. Thank you, good day, and God bless.